Rwanda, and I live in a place far away from here. Today, I have come to explore your planet Earth. Let's take a look at what's happening down there. Go through the clouds. That was fun! But where am I? Wow, so many trees. And so many sounds. stick is moving. This is a stick insect. It is so well camouflaged that it's hard to see at first. Other insects and spiders can camouflage too. These ants look busy, don't they? Caterpillar. In the rainforest, there are lots of small insects and interesting plants. Oh, look, a raphesia. It is the largest flower on earth. The forest provides animals with food and places to hide. It's so dark and humid here. The tops of the trees seem to connect to form a canopy. No wonder I cannot see the sun. Let me check out one of these trees. These roots are so huge, they make me feel small. I wonder how tall the trees are. I'm going up to have a look. It looks amazing from up here. It's so bright. There's an orangutan over there. The mother is watching over her child. Another orangutan is eating rambutan fruits. What's that huge bird's nest? It's actually where the orangutan sleeps. Hmm, some trees are short and some are tall. Every tree is trying to reach out to the sun. We are in the rainforest of Malaysian Borneo. Borneo is the third biggest island on planet Earth. This is Malia Basin in Sabah. It is a virgin forest because it is a protected area.
wildlife and plants here. I'm so lucky to be here! In the past, Borneo Island was covered by natural rainforests like Maliao Basin. This has changed because many trees have been cut down for land development. Trees are very important resources for people. Wood from the trees is used for all sorts of essential things like building houses and boats. If we don't manage logging properly, it will cause many problems. We must take actions to use our resources sustainably. Wow! What a beautiful waterfall! I'm going to follow the river and see where it goes. <laughs> 